Trinity B1 ISC1 Four Skills Test CELT Secure English Language Tests B1 English Test ISC1 Skilled Worker Health and Care Worker Scale-Up Worker Student Visas This is Trinity College London ISC1 B1 My name is Angelina, what's your full name? Yes, hi, my name is Michelle Ayaz. What's your topic's title for today? My topic titles for today are my hobbies. Uh, so my topic's title for today is hobbies. Okay, so now can you hear me? Uh, yeah, but not properly. Okay, let me know if it's all right now. Yeah, it's all right now. Okay, beautiful. I just want to uh, restart it with you because the topic title is just one. Okay, so okay. my topic title is I S is. Okay. Okay. That's over. Hmm. Hmm. This is Trinity College London. I S C one B one. My name is Angelina. I am your interlocutor for your speaking and listening test today. What's your full name? Yes, hi, my name is Michelle Ayaz. All right, and what's your topic's title for today? My topic title for today is my hobbies. What are your four topic points? Yeah, it's traveling, spending mm. time with family, shopping, mm. and cooking. All right. How often do you cook? I cooked uh, daily. Okay, can you tell me about something that you've cooked recently? Yeah, I cooked mm -hmm. uh, my traditional food, chicken. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so who taught you how to cook? Yeah, my mother taught me. What do you enjoy about cooking? I enjoy uh, just spending time on cutting and uh, just prepare the food. Yeah. All right. Do you like to learn new recipes? Yeah, I really like to learn and try new recipes. Mm. Just uh, what have you cooked recently? A new recipe? Yeah, I just tried a Chinese chili garlic. Hmm. For how many people do you cook every day? I just cook for myself. Thank you. Now, could you please tell me a little bit about your recent shopping experience where did you go and what did you buy yeah sure yeah i just uh, recently i went to a shopping mall uh, which is lakeside shopping mall and i bought a bag from there mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay yeah. uh, okay uh, how often do you buy household things? Yeah, I um, buy household th things once in a week. Mm -hmm. Do you like online shopping? Uh, personally, I don't like online shopping. I like uh, uh, like go to mall or any shopping center. Hmm. Okay. Why do so many people prefer online shopping now? Yeah, because of the busy schedule. Uh, today, uh, everybody is busy for their career or for their future, maybe in studies, in uh, jobs. So that's why uh, they recommend and they choose the online shopping. Mm -hmm. Okay, 
Thank you. Uh, now, could you please tell me, how do you spend quality time with your family? I spend quality time with my family to having dinner together. And we talk to us about our day or our, about our future plans. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, all right, okay. Okay, so could you tell me about an activity that you really enjoy doing with your family? Yeah, yeah, I really enjoy to uh, watch any good movie with my family. Hmm. Okay, could you tell me about that film that you had seen recently with your family? Yeah, I have I watched a movie animal with my family. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. Thank you so much. This is the end of part one. Now part two and uh, the topic of conversation that I have chosen for you is yeah. learning foreign languages. So could you please tell me what foreign language are you planning to learn? And why do you want to yeah. learn it? Yeah, I like uh, to learn um, Spanish mm -hmm. because um, I really want to speak Spanish from foreign people to uh, to foreign people. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's nice. So. Could you please tell me why do you want to learn a new language? Why is that? Well, that just because um, I really like uh, Spanish movies, and for that purpose, mainly for that purpose, I really want to learn the language. How many languages can you speak? Yeah, ma'am, I can speak uh, mainly two languages right now. Okay. All right. Could you ask me two questions about learning foreign languages? Very much that learning for foreign languages, foreign languages. Yeah. So, can you tell me, um, do you like to learn foreign language? Yes, I love to. Okay. So, why do you think the foreign language is uh, important to learn? Uh, well, I believe it's really important to learn a foreign language in order to understand literature, culture, and also lifestyle of people living across the border or maybe across the seas so it's good to learn a foreign language in order to connect with people around the world and expand uh, the understanding okay thank you thanks so much okay now we're gonna do a listening test together sure okay get your notebook please Once you're ready, tell me. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. Yeah, ma'am, I'm ready. Yeah, beautiful. Hold on, I'm finding a recording for you. Just a minute. Okay, so I am going to play a recording about squirrels, okay? Have you ever heard okay. about it? The recording no. or not? Okay. No, no. I will play it twice once you've heard 
I would want you to take your notes, then I'll ask you six questions. Okay. ISC 1, Task 1. Today, I'm going to tell you about a small wild animal called the squirrel. Now, the first thing that I would like to tell you is that squirrels usually make their homes in very high places. Amazingly, baby squirrels are only two centimeters long when they are born. How about food? Well, young squirrels go out looking for food in the daytime. These young squirrels usually come back to their home at nighttime because they feel safe there. That seems to make sense. We know that squirrels are very intelligent animals because they hide food under the ground for the winter. Now then, let's see. What else can I tell you? The squirrel's front teeth never stop growing all their life. Now it's time to have a look at the life of another interesting animal. Let's look at... Now listen again. Today, I'm going to tell you about a small wild animal called the squirrel. Now, the first thing that I would like to tell you is that squirrels usually make their homes in very high places. Amazingly, baby squirrels are only two centimeters long when they are born. How about food? Well, young squirrels go out looking for food in the daytime. These young squirrels usually come back to their home at night time because they feel safe there. That seems to make sense. We know that squirrels are very intelligent animals because they hide food under the ground for the winter. Now then, let's see. What else can I tell you? The squirrel's front teeth never stop growing all their life. Now it's time to have a look at the life of another interesting animal. Let's look at... All right, beautiful. Now I'll ask you some follow-up questions about squirrels. Yeah, sure. Uh, my first question is, where do squirrels make their homes? Yeah, they make their home under the ground. Yeah, beautiful. Where do they make their homes? The squirrels, where do they make their homes? Do you want to listen again? Or no? Yeah, I can. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, you saw it. Oh, I need to go back. Ready? ISC 1. Task 1. Today, I'm going to tell you about a small wild animal called the squirrel. Now, the first thing that I would like to tell you is that squirrels usually make their homes in very high places. Amazingly, baby squirrels are only two centimeters long when they are born. How about food? Well, young squirrels go out looking for food in the daytime. These young squirrels usually come back to their home at nighttime because they feel safe there. That seems to make sense. We know that squirrels are very intelligent animals because they hide food under the ground for the winter. Now then, let's see. What else can I tell you? The squirrel's front teeth never stop growing all their life. Now it's time to have a look at the life of another interesting animal. Let's look at... Now listen again. Okay, now I will ask you again. Ready? Yeah, okay, okay. Oh. Uh, yes, could you please tell me where do squirrels make their homes? They make their homes at a very high place. That is correct. And how big are baby squirrels at birth? Yeah, they are two centimeters long. That is Correct. And what do young squirrels do in the daytime? Yeah, in the daytime, the young squirrels go for a uh, go 
Hmm? Go, go for the food. Mm, yeah, that's right. And why do young squirrels return home at night? Because uh, they feel because they feel safe there. Mm, that's also right. Mm, and uh, uh, how do we know that squirrels are intelligent? uh they just uh, hide their food under the ground for winters that's how we can find them very intelligent mm -hmm. okay and what is special about squirrels front teeth yeah their front teeth are uh, never stop growing Perfect, beautiful. You passed with distinction in this part. Okay, good job. Now the next one. I will play a recording about... Um, have you ever heard a recording about Bhutan? No. Okay. So I'm going to play a recording about Bhutan now. You will listen to it and not take any notes. And then tell me okay. in few words what is this recording about. Okay. Two. ISC one. Task two. Today we're going to learn about a country called Bhutan. Only about eight hundred thousand people live in Bhutan, but amazingly, those people speak twenty-four different languages. What about the environment? About 72% of the country is forest. The government has made a lot of laws to protect animals. The people in Bhutan are not allowed to use plastic bags. Many of the cars in the country are electric. There's an unusual thing about the capital of Bhutan. It doesn't have any traffic lights. Instead, Policemen show drivers when to stop. These policemen have to wear special white gloves to do this. What about the people? If you go to Bhutan, you can see people wearing traditional dress. And here's another interesting thing. Every year, the government asks the people about their happiness. This is because they think happiness is more important than money. So, do you want to visit Bhutan? Today, yes, could you please tell me in few words what is this recording about? Yeah, it's about uh, the people, it's about the people mm -hmm. of uh, it's for the people of Bhutan. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's in right. Their life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. Now, listen again and answer these questions. Apologies, listen again and write down six important f facts from the recording. Then I'll ask you to tell me those facts. Okay. ISC 1, task 2. Today we're going to learn about a country called Bhutan. Only about 800,000 people live in Bhutan. But amazingly, those people speak 24 different languages. What about the environment? About 72% of the country is forest. The government has made a lot of laws to protect animals. The people in Bhutan are not allowed to use plastic bags. Many of the cars in the country are electric. There's an unusual thing about the capital of Bhutan. It doesn't have any traffic lights. Instead, Policemen show drivers when to stop. These policemen have to wear special white gloves to do this. What about the people? If you go to Bhutan, you can see people wearing traditional dress. And here's another interesting thing. Every year, the government asks the people about their happiness. This is because they think happiness is more important than money. So, do you want to visit Bhutan? 
Today we. Okay, could you please tell me six facts about Bhutan? Yeah, there are eight hundred thousand people who live in Bhutan. They speak twenty four different languages. Mm hmm. Uh, Bhutan have seventy two percent uh forest area. Mm hmm. And uh, the people who live in Bhutan are not allowed to use plastic bags. Mm. They use electric cars. Mm. And mm -hmm. uh, they doesn't have any traffic lights. Mm -hmm. They are usually wearing traditional dresses. Mm -hmm. The government asks them about their mm -hmm. happiness. Very good. You have told me almost all the important facts, but still, I'd like to ask you some follow-up questions. All right. So, could you tell me um, how much of the Bhutan is forest? Yeah, it's uh, seventy-two percent. That is correct. And my last question to you is: How many languages do people of Bhutan speak? They speak 24 different languages. Okay, last one. What is unusual about capital of Bhutan? Yeah, they, uh, they just ask hmm. about their happiness early at the end of the year. Mm, no, because they don't have traffic lights. Okay. Thank you. Um, what, was your question? Mm -hmm. what was your question when you uh, asked me? What again? is uh, what is mm -hmm. unusual about the capital of Bhutan? Different. Okay. 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 So beautiful. You have passed your listening with distinction also, and your uh, speaking with distinction also. Congratulations. You know. That's all I can say. Yeah. Just uh, solve another full test tomorrow. If you want to take from me, then I can send you a full test. Yeah. So that, yeah you've, that you've never solved before. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, just, that. yeah. Just give me some time. I, I will just uh, take and crop it and send it to you. Okay. In 10 okay. minutes. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so yeah, much. Okay. Thank you. Shall be Thank taking you. your leave now. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. Goodbye.